welcome back to the Jill Lublin podcast. I'm super excited you stopped by today and so will you be because today we have a wonderful nationally recognized expert, Anne Poirier. And Anne is the author of Body Joyful. She's the founder of Shaping Perspectives and she's a pioneer and leading voice for the body neutrality movement She's been featured and cited in major media, including Shape, Women's Health, The New York Times, Washington Post, ABC, and NPR. She's a woman you want to listen to for fitness, eating disorders, just feeling great about yourself. Welcome, Anne. Welcome, Jill. <laughs> I'm glad to be here with you. I'm really glad you're here because, you know, as we start the new year, and to me, this is a evergreen message, really. But, I, you know, I'm curious about some things and I know you're an expert in, one of which is where do our thoughts and beliefs come from about our bodies? Well, it's interesting because when we're babies, we love our bodies. So I ask that question to everybody that I talk to around body image is where does your body image come from? And we think about, you know, friends or family, doctors or teach teachers, coaches, um, could be a, a medical profession. Uh, and then there's society and TV and social media now 24 uh, seven, billboards, magazines, it's everywhere you look. And we develop it very young at an age where we are impressionable, and we're listening to our parents and hearing different things. So it's the different things that we hear and see about what bodies, quote unquote, should look like. Mm. Yeah, the should, I think, is a really big thing, isn't it? And yeah. we are bombarded, you know, uh, by how we should look, right? Isn't that mm. wild? Well, you know, I'm particularly curious, and I think especially for women, although I think this affects men's too, why do you think women's bodies, like the whole issue thing, and, and I'm going to be inclusive. I know you work a lot with women, um, but since we have both men and women watching, what, what is it that this body image steals? Why does it steal our joy? Because it takes up all of our brain. You know, when did our bodies become a problem or the obstacle that we're always trying to make better and try to improve so that we can be whatever that is, so that we can be successful, so that we can be accepted, so that we can uh, try out for that play or or go to that job interview, you know, or ask that person out. All of those things get linked into how we see and feel about our bodies, and thus we don't do things. You know, we're always thinking about how to improve ourselves or when I get to that weight or when I can fit into those genes, then I will ask, then I will try out, then I will do. But we it steals a lot of our experiences because we don't step into the joy that life is because mm. we're worried about how we look. Yeah, yeah, that's really powerful. Well, you know, I know you've had your own journey around this. And mm. can you share that with people? Like, how did you come to this not only are you an expert and, and featured in media and sought after expert on this subject of body and body neutrality, um, which I love that phrase, but really why you? Well, it's the journey that I lived, right? And I think a lot of times our past leads us to our purpose. And that's exactly what happened with me. It was uh, an eating disorder as a tween in the 70s when nobody really knew much about them. And then just a, that followed me uh, all through my life with poor body image and negative self-talk and never feeling quote unquote good enough. Um, if I could just lose that weight, then everything would be okay. Then my life would be perfect, right? And I believe that there are a lot of people who feel that last five pounds or 10 pounds would make this big difference when really how can we see ourselves as the wonderful, amazing humans that we are, you know, these vessels that we, that we live in, how can we see those, uh, that in a different way so that we are really stepping into who we are authentically and allowing ourselves, giving ourselves permission to experience what life has to offer rather than always 
thinking about where's the next meal coming from? What am I going to eat? How much did I eat? Um, have I exercised today? Do, what do I need to do tomorrow? You know, all of those things, or what is that person going to think if they haven't seen me in so long? So many little thoughts in our head that just keep floating through mm. and take us, kind of tear us down. So, yes, yes. And, you know, I look at you, Anne, and I just got to say it you look fit, you look great. Were you ever fat, overweight? I mean, I'm just going <laughs> to. I have been, and this is the interesting piece. I've been on, on a scale from about where I am now, and I will say close to 40 pounds less and close to 40 pounds more. Wow. So talk about um, yo-yo dieting at its at its finest, right? Wow. I have gained weight. I have lost weight. I have gained weight again. I have lost weight again. I've gone up and down the scale so many times I probably can't count them. I've probably been on every diet uh, that you could name. Uh, except for anything that was maybe before my time, but anything that w that came out in the 70s or beyond, I know I've been on it, <laughs> I was on it, and then I gained weight back. So that's my journey and the way that I now work with people is all about uh, how can we see ourselves differently and have a different perspective of who we are. So obviously you still want people to be healthy right mm -hmm. but it's uh, about how do we say no to the ideal society's way of looking at us and feel more comfortable and confident in who we are is that that's true? A, yes that's such a great question jill right is how do i turn away from the loud noise and so body neutrality is a term that is now kind of out in in the world more than it used to be and it's about quieting the voices that are out there and starting to see our bodies differently, not as what they look like or their appearance, but really starting to see our bodies for the function, you know, that they give us the things that they do. And if I can focus on my body's way of uh, moving through the world and uh, relating to other people, having conversations, hugging my kids, getting down on the floor to play with my grandson, if I can start to focus on those things rather than just my appearance, I start to treat myself a little better because I am a little bit more confident and I am seeing myself as a, as a whole human rather than just a body to be, you know, there was a, there's a book out with your body's not an ornament, right. Or something to that effect and seeing how that's not what this is all about. This is about seeing inside of ourselves and who we are. I love that. So what is the one thing you would advise people to do who aren't feeling real good in their body right now? Shift their focus, right? Become aware of their own negative self-talk about their bodies, how they talk to themselves in the mirror and start to say, would you ever say that to your friend? Would you ever say that to your daughter or your son? You know, and how can you shift the way that you're talking to yourself in a more kind and compassionate way? And by doing that, it starts to improve our own self-confidence and seeing our bodies as the function, their function. What do they do? And focus there, put the focus on that. And that really changes everything. Oh, well, that I think is doable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think our listeners can agree that is something that all of you can do right now. Um, from our wonderful expert, Anne. And Anne, I know people are going to want to connect to you. And uh, how do they stay connected? Do you have anything that they can start with? Sure. Uh, a free gift for you would be our body neutrality starter kit, which really gets you started on this way of thinking about your body, a different way of thinking about your body. And so we have that as a free gift. And you can get that by just uh, emailing Anne at thebodyjoyful.com. And that's where people can get a hold of me. Wonderful. And we'll be featuring that in the show notes too. And um, any last words, so to speak, from you? That you have a choice on how you perceive and see your own body. And the choice is yours. So how do you want to continue to live your life in your body? Because it's always going to be changing. Oh. Beautiful. And I, I love your message. And I think it's something new for many people that we all need to hear. So thank you for kicking us off on a new year and new you and having a body joyful. Thank, thank you, you so much.
And thank you everybody for stopping by. And I so look forward to serving you again. Remember to practice that conscious act of kindness and visit jilllublin.com. We'll see you again. Bye everyone.